bucket with water so that you could then leave a, a full tank for the next Wash, person yeah. to use the mode. Um, none of us smelled very good. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Um, if you could possibly manage to get them, uh, they want you to the home just to, you know, to, so they didn't have to spend the uh, and I remember my dad found me on the front porch one morning because he left me for work at about six. And I was sound asleep on the glide, and that's as far as I got. Um, but I, you know, it was about a 30 mile trip. I lived in Crafton, you know, around 30, 30 yeah. miles. Yeah, Georgia, across, I mean, Georgia and Gary on the outside. There's only four people that stayed in the house. And, uh, like Gary said, he and I pretty much decorated the house. We went to Goodwill and got a truckload of furniture for $50. You can't do that now. Well, it's almost as expensive as a regular furniture store. But that's where most of the furniture came from. Where did he go? The little music box. The cheap looks. I think that was Carl Hardman's Maryland. The radio was Carl Hardman's. Well, that was different. The record player was one that I had as a kid, ironically, and it was no, Frank up RCA for the portable record player. I thought it was about this big house. I just left the structure. It was like maybe they might have been. As far as the lighting, that would be worth it. As far as the lighting, what was the biggest light you guys had? I used to get the generator. Like we had color, color, yeah. color trim. Little, what they called KQL lighting kits, and they were color trim lights, thousand watts. Some of them were 600s. And yeah, uh, that was when you didn't have any big clean lights or anything like that. Well, it was so long ago, didn't they use candles for lights? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we used the color, they were our color trim lights that we used on all our commercial jobs and whatever we did. You have generators and stuff like that? We did not have a generator. No, we tied, either. there was power to the house, and we had the power turned on. And we just did a tie into the electrical again. Which was really common. We did that a lot. We rarely worked with generators. And I would say virtually never. <laughs> did, you know. There were a couple times where we were up in the mountains doing deer food. Yeah. Whatever. We'd have a little putt putt, but nothing like today. Nothing like a yeah. know, quiet generator that can pull onto the movie set. Right. Okay, Playboy lights? I'm sorry. Is it clean lights? Clean lights. Yeah. Got a bunch of that. Okay. You said your your arm caught fire one night pushing that chair. Up. You had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> where, where where did you yeah, run burning? Hey, <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> where, where was the path that you ran? Or the bill ran? It all happened. It all happened. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> but you really <laughs> needed a lot of fire again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the average man's watch? Okay, so the so Dwayne uh, sets, prepares, gets the chair ready to push it out and and ward off the, the ghouls who he is determined that fire does that. So it's a famous shot of him pushing the chair out of the front door and uh, on, and then he lights it on fire and then pushes it. And um, I don't know, something happened. George just didn't like the blocking of it. He didn't like his angle of it. Somehow the chair blocked Wayne. I don't know what it was, but it was, I don't know, it was probably like a half hour, 45 minutes till we reset to shoot again. And I was the keeper of the fire, you know, I, I, because there wasn't any sound on it. I was the I was the guy who had to put the chair out and light it back. And so, you know, I came back. We were ready to go. Everybody ready to go. I'm all over this chair, hands down in it, trying to think. It, you know, there could be, you know, an ember. And uh, I determined it's safe. And <laughs> what? Whatever gave me the right to determine it was safe, I don't you know. One doing I it. Well, I certainly had no degree in fire prevention, <laughs> for sure. But um, I had a gallon jug of gasoline in my hand, and I I poured it, and it hit that thing, and no sooner hit it, and that yeah. flame just shot right up. And I, my reaction was to get away, so the gas ran down my arm. I, I got rid of the gallon, but the gas ran down my arm, and I was on fire. And uh, Bill Heinzman at, at the time, I think, might have been a volunteer fireman somewhere along the way. And he, he intuitively, instinctively knew to push me to the ground and roll me. 
cover and we'll put it out. Oh, yeah, I, so, yelled, I yelled Gary, Gary hit the ground, and, but I was, I was too far yeah. away to do anything. Well, I was, and was right yeah, there. yeah, and I was, just, I was obviously in a form of shock because I was on fire. Uh, so I wasn't thinking real clear about anything, but anyway, uh, had a wonderful uh, experience with a local doctor, Dr. Alsop, and he took care of me, and um, I, I think I missed the rest of that night shoot, and that was it. I was back the next day to, you know, because, well, I, what people don't understand is there were principally like five of us that shot Night of Living Dead. Well, we had bigger ghoul. Uh, sieges and things like that we added you know some extra people but for for most part it was the same crew we did everything with, you yeah know? I mean you, you, I don't know maximum eight I don't think we knew more than eight crew members right <laughs> whenever yeah. we when we did the 1990 remake we the very first thing that was shot there was the cemetery scene George Romero and I were standing there looking on while Savini was directing it and so on. And we had 110 people on that film. And we looked at each other and started laughing because we're shooting the same scene that we shot 20 some years earlier with six people. Now we have 110 and it ain't any better either. <laughs> Which was almost a comment on the Hollywood style of filmmaking where no, nobody can believe that you do a pretty good job with five or six people and lower budgets, but, but, but that's people the, are doing it. Yeah, and, and I mean, I know there are filmmakers in, in, the, in the group, and you know, we... we